Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial for you on how we make our invitations um, and the reason we use PowerPoint and things like that. Um, so some of you have asked why I use PowerPoint as opposed to Word or Microsoft Publisher. Well, it's really simple because I'm kind of a simple guy. And um, PowerPoint is really forgiving. So basically, it lets you drag and drop things exactly where you want them to be, whereas Word and Publisher, uh, they tend to be a little more picky on where you put things. Um, so, you know, freedom of placement is really why I like to use PowerPoint. Um, another reason that I like it is because most of these PowerPoint um, programs, most of the versions will allow you to save all of these PowerPoint presentations as a JPEG, which is going to our next point. Um, the way we do our invitations is I always make the canvas that you see here, which is the dimensions um, of the invitation, a 4x6, which we all know is a standard postcard size. So what happens is we create these invitations, we save them as a JPEG or as also known as a picture, and we simply upload these to your nearest um, photo printing retail store, such as Walgreens, um, CVS, Walmart, or any other retail store who prints pictures, just like your family photos for on vacation that you would have printed. Um, so we upload these pictures that we create from these invitations to those retail stores and print them out as a 4x6 print glossy, matte, whatever. And then you take a, um, a postcard stamp and just put it on the back of the picture. Now, uh, my wife just hand writes the guest name and address on the back of the picture. Um, and if she's feeling really creative, she may print those on labels. That's totally up to you. You can print these pictures for around 12 to 19 cents a piece and if you google let's say you're printing them at Walgreens if you google Walgreens print um, coupons a lot of times they'll give you a huge discount and uh, a big savings on printing these at Walgreens or CVS whatever they'll have print codes like it may be it may the print code may be 40 prints so you will enter that into a text box that will give you 40 percent off of your prints, which is huge. Um, so, you know, you can use the Premier Designs um, invitations. I think they're great and awesome, but they don't really say what I want to say. And I, we like to be a little more personal than that. So that's why we create these invitations. So really quick, all you're going to do when you go to the um, invitation station group, and thank you all for joining that, um, you are going to see basically what we're seeing here. What you're going to want to do um, to get these ready to upload to your photo print retail store is you're going to save the document and you're going to go to save as not to save. So we're going to save as and I'm a little bit stuffy so you guys um, kind of overlook my nasalness. <laughs> All right, so we've done save as and now here's a big part and my mom doesn't understand this but you got to tell this where you want it to save to on your computer. So for just simplicity tonight, we're going to save this to our desktop. So we're going to click desktop and we had our Luau theme you see there. So we're going to just call this Luau. Okay. And then we are going to change the save type to JPEG. JPEG file interchange format. What that's going to do is it's going to save it basically as a picture that you can easily upload to Walmart. Now you're going to get this pop-up that says, do you want to export every slide? Well, we only have one slide. So you're just going to click current slide only, and you're done. So if we were to visit my desktop, you would see the picture there of this invitation. The next step would be to log on to walmart.com, walgreens.com. Um, you're going to have to create a profile to print pictures if you've never done that. If you, if you already have a profile at a print shop, then great. But you're going to create your profile, and there's usually going to be a browse button, and you're going to have to tell it what picture you want to print. You're going to browse back to the place where you saved this invitation, which tonight would have been our desktop, and you're going to send it to your photo print retail store. You're going to print those. You're going to pick them up. You're going to build a relationship with the lady behind the print counter. 
Um, I know my wife has uh, she she um, prints these at several different places just so she can try to build a relationship with the cashiers behind the counter. So you're going to pick those up. You're going to put a postcard stamp on the back of the uh, of the picture. You're going to put them in the mail. Really simple. So I hope this has helped you guys kind of understand why I started this group and um, you know how we create and print our invitations. It saves us a lot on ink personally. Um, you know, and of course, all of these invitations that you print are going to be tax deductible for your business. So that's another great thing. So anyway, it's just really easy once you get the hang of it. You're going to love printing these and, and going to the store, having another reason to go to town, make some contacts. And uh, so anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I didn't want to go long over five minutes, so I'm cutting it short. Um, if you have questions, just post them on the website. Feel free to instant message me, whatever. I'm here to help. You guys have a great evening.